A very good morning, students. Let's move to close back the structure. So before that, I just want to show you a video. Let me show the video first. The three-dimensional modes of packing can be easily understood by dividing the whole process into three steps. Close packing of spheres in one dimension. There is just one way of arranging the spheres. Here, spheres are arranged in a row touching one another. As a result, each sphere is in contact with the two neighboring spheres. Thus, in 1D, the close packing, uh, in 1D close packing, the coordination number is 2. Close packing sphere in two dimensions. Close packing structure in two dimension can be generated by stacking rows of one dimensionally close packed sphere, one above the other. This can be done in two ways, square close packing and hexagonal close packing. In this type of packing, the second row of sphere is placed in contact with first row in such a way that the sphere of second row are placed exactly above the sphere of first row. In such, such an arrangement, the sphere are aligned horizontally and vertically such that each sphere is in contact with four spheres. So the coordination number is four. If we call the first row as A type, the second row being exactly same as the first row, so it is also called A type. If we keep on placing such row one above the other, then such an arrangement is known as A A type of arrangement or square packing, hexagonal close packing. In this type of packing of a sphere, second row of a sphere is placed in staggered manner such that the sphere fit into the depression of the first row. If uh, is called the first row or A type, if A type, then as second row is differ from the first row, it can be called as B type. Now, if we place a third row above the second row in the similar manner, we will observe that third row sphere are aligned with those of the sphere of first layer. And each sphere is in contact with the six other sphere. So the coordination number is six. Similarly, on placing the fourth layer, we will observe that the fourth row of sphere are aligned with the aligned with those of second layer. And the type of arrangement is known as ABAB type of arrangement or hexagonal close packing. If we compare square close packing with the hexagonal close packing, we will observe that empty spaces in hexagonal close packing is less than those of square close packing. Now, what are these empty spaces and what role do they play in packing efficiency that we are going to discuss? The empty spaces between the sphere are known as voids. These voids are responsible for decrease in packing efficiency of the solid crystal. More the number of voids, less is the packing efficiency of the crystal. Now you must be wondering that what is meant by packing efficiency. We will be discussing about this in our next class. So now let us study about close packing in 3D. Three-dimensional close packing from two-dimensional square close pack layer. This type of packing can be obtained by Placing 2D square closed packed layer above the first one. 
such that the spheres of the second layer are exactly above on the spheres of the first layer. In this arrangement, the sphere of both the layers are perfectly aligned horizontally and vertically. On arranging layer one after the other, in this pattern, we will observe that each sphere is in contact with six other sphere. Four from the same layer, one from the layer above and one from the layer below, that is sphere. So the coordination number is six. If we call the first layer as A type, and since all the layer are also of same type, this kind of arrangement is known as AAA type of the arrangement. On observing carefully, we will find that this arrangement has generated a simple cubic lattice and its unit cell is primitive cubic unit cell. Three-dimensional closed packing from 2D hexagonal closed packing. The 3D hexagonal closed pack structure can be obtained by placing 2D hexagonal structure one layer ever the other. Placing second layer over the first layer. Let us take a 2D hexagonal closed packed layer A. Notice this layer has triangular voids. Place a similar closed packed layer in such a way that the sphere of the second layer are placed in depression of the first layer. As the spheres of the second layer are aligned differently as compared to the first layer, let us call this layer B type. On observing, we will notice that not all the triangular voids of the first layer are covered by the sphere of the second layer. This gave rise to a different arrangement and different voids. Now voids. There are two types of voids. Tetrahedron voids denoted by T and octahedron voids denoted by O. Let us study how these voids are formed. When we place a closed packed layer above the depression of the first layer, we will notice that at the same place, the triangular void of the first layer are being covered by the sphere of the second layer. At such places, a type of void is formed and this type of void is known as tetrahedral void T. Since a tetrahedron is formed by joining the center of the four surrounding sphere, while at the other places, we will notice that triangular void of the first layer one side with the triangular voids of the second layer, such that their triangular shape do not overlap. At such places, another type of void is formed and this type of void is known as octahedral void O. Since an octahedron is formed by the joining of center of six surrounding sphere. Now in case we need to calculate the number of tetrahedral and octahedral voids in a crystal lattice structure, then just knowing the number of a sphere will serve the purpose. Suppose there are n sphere in the crystal structure, then the number of octahedral voids generated will be n and the number of tetrahedral voids generated will be 2n. Placing third layer over the second layer. Now let us place third layer over the second layer. Stacking of third layer over second layer can be done into two ways. First by covering tetrahedral voids and second by covering octahedral voids. By covering tetrahedral voids, 
the tetrahedral voids of the second layer can be covered by placing the sphere of the third layer over them. On doing so, the sphere of the third layer gets exactly aligned with the sphere of first layer. So if we, call, uh, if we can call the first layer as A type and the second layer as B type, then the third layer will also be of A type. As the pattern of the sphere is repeated in other layer, so this pattern is known as ABAB type. And the structure formed is known as hexagonal closed packed structure. HCP. In this type of structure, each sphere is in contact with 12 other spheres, 6 from the same layer and 3 from the bottom layer and 3 from the layer above. So the coordination number is 12. Now next, by covering octahedral words. The octahedral words of the second layer can be covered by placing the sphere of the third layer over them. On doing so, the sphere of the third layer are not aligned with the sphere of either first layer or the second layer. So if we call the first layer as A type and the second layer as B type, then this third layer would be of C type. Now if we place the fourth layer over the octahedral void of the third layer, then the sphere of the fourth layer get exactly aligned with the sphere of the first layer. Thus, this pattern is known as ABC, ABC type. And the structure formed is known as cubic closed packed structure or face centered cubic structure, FCC. In this type of a structure, each sphere is in contact with 12 other spheres. 6 from the same layer and 3 from the layer above and 3 from the layer below. So the coordination number is again 12. Okay, so now let's start with the closed packed structure. That means how this unit cell is going to prepare like uh, we are CCP. This is also called closed uh, cubic closed packing structure and that are the types. Okay. So we are going to understand that how the lattice points are, how the unit cells are arranged in a uh, what in a like solid structure, solid crystal. So in the solid, the particles are very close to each other, which builds their three-dimensional structure. But before going on three-dimensional, we will uh, learn about the uh, what one-dimensional and then two-dimensional also. So this is this is close packing of sphere in one dimension is coordination number two. You got it. If I'm talking about this, we, uh, in the video I have explained properly and I hope it is clear to you. If I'm talking about this sphere, it is attached with the, this two, one and one, two. Got it? The coordination number will be two. This is close packing in the 2D. We have discussed, we have seen all that watch in that video, how this is square packing and this hexagonal packing. So if I'm talking about the square, just arrange the, uh, attach the lattices of this and you'll get the square close packing. Similarly, in this case, if you uh, like draw that, you will get a hexagonal structure like this is center, it's center, it's center, and then it's center, and then it's center, and here it will combine. So it will give you the like uh, hexagonal. So you just check the cone, this one, this particle, if I'm checking about what is the coordination number, this is attached with this one, two, three, four, five, six. So the coordination number is six over here. In this case, the one, if you are talking about this one, one, so this is attached with the one, two, three, and four. So how many uh, sphere it is going to connect with this? The so four, that means it is, coordination number is four. This is the point to note that HCP is more efficient than SCP. Obviously quite clear that in solid we say that if the particles are very close to each other. So in this case, we can see that the six, one atom is surrounded by six atoms. Yes, but in this case, only four. So which one is the more efficient? Obviously, SCP. Okay, so this is closed packing in 3D and that is uh, that comes under the first one. We have to un understood that this is cubic closed packing structure, which is also known as CCP. Okay, this is called CCP. 
So if this CCP I'm talking about, they are the two type of clothes packing found in the solid in 3D that already we have watched in the video. This is called cubic clothes packing structure and the another way is hexagonal clothes pack structure at CP like this. So if I'm talking about this, if arrangement is ABC, ABC type, then it is known as cubic clothes packing structure. And I hope you people have watched the video properly. So in that it is mentioned. So like this, okay. Uh, like I have uh, shown by the animation, animation, so you it will be like uh, easy to understand all this thing. So in this we can see that this is the A particle, then this is the type of B and C, A, B, C type will be there. A, B, C, A, B, C if it is there, then it will be called cube clo uh, cubic close packing structure. And all the metals like nickel, iron, silver, AU, they have the CCP structure or you can say that the FCC also. How come? If we will arrange all this particle, so it gives a resemblance with the face center. And that also we have seen in the animation. Okay, animation. So uh, that is, you can see that all the particles are how they are arranged. And they give a like a resemblance with the FCC. So that's why it is also called as FCC. So listen, uh, what you have to, uh, like what is the important point in this? If we are talking about the 3D, then the cubic close packing and the FCC will be considered as same. Got it here? Okay. So now the next thing, like this is the 3D view. That also you can see how it is going to see. This is a, uh, let me use the other color. Okay. We can see this is a cube. How this is the cube like this. Yes. And how they are going to arrange with this, all that as a case arrange way. Yes, you can see that. So the particles are A, B, C and A, B, C form me. And what is this A, B, C, A, B, C form? I have explained that how they are arranged in that uh, basis only. They are said as A, B, C, A, B, C type. Okay, so they look like this. Now, close packing in 3D. Hexagonal close packing that we have done uh, CCP now hexagonal close packing structure in this type of packing the sphere of the molecules of a particular row in a particular dimension are in position that they fit into the depression between adjacent sphere that is already explained with this yes previous row key depression can undergo fit only and this type of arrangement is called AB AB type when we arrange the third layer it is just exactly equal, exactly uh, same as a layer one. So that's why it is called AB, AB type arrangement. And this type of packed lattice is found in many metals such as magnesium, zinc and all that. The coordination number, this is the big thing. It will be asked in that. What is the coordination number in hexagonal close packing? So this is called 12. 12 in each case. And I hope it is clear with this animation. Yes. So that is the that is the thing you have to learn. Either it is CCP or HCP. We are talking about this will be in the 3D. If I'm like simply you can learn that if it is 3D, then the coordination number will be 12. That's it. Either it is CCP, just say we FCCP, or it is HCP. Got it? Okay. So this is the again that another uh, way to represent three-dimensional structure. You can see that hexagonal. This is A B A B type. And how the coordination number is 12, 6 in one layer, 3 above and 3 below. So that is the coordination number 12. Hope it is clear with this. Yes. So now the next thing, packing efficiency and the voids are there. So that we will do. Till then, thank you class. Enjoy your study.